Let's run a local language model on our Android device with Llama file. So Llama file is very performant on TPU inference, and it also has its own chat interface, which makes it a lot more easier to interact with. In fact, when I was in Uganda, this is what I primarily used to teach language models on devices that only had four gigabytes of RAM that were CPU only. And before I get started, I want to give a big thanks to Tech Friend, as he was the one that originally got me into Llama file. Uh, the only reason I'm making a tutorial is because there were some technical assumptions that were made during the installation. So for anyone that is non-technical that wants to do the installation, I want to go through this process as well too. So to get started, the first thing we're going to do is to go to fdroid.org and you're going to download it like so. So I'm going to be downloading the file. I'm going to open it up. It's going to say it is dangerous, but uh, what you're going to do is go to more details and just install it anyway. So let me just do that. And then I'm going to open it up and it's going to say it's updating the repository. This should take a few seconds. Once I finish updating this repository, I'm going to be going over to my search and I'm going to type in Termux. And the one I want is terminal emulator with packages. So we're going to install that. Once that finished, go to settings. We're going to go allow from the source so we can officially download Termux. And usually when it's installing, it is going to automatically open. But if it does not, in this case, um, what I'm going to do is you can just simply go back and you'll see that Termux should be already there. So inside here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some setup. So what I want to first do is install a Llama file or basically our local language model. So if you go over to the GitHub repository for Llama file, you're going to see that there's a variety of different types of Llama files that you can download. In our case, I'm going to do a Llama 3.2 1D instruct, and you just have to click this. So I'm going to go inside there. I'm going to go over to that GitHub repository, like I said. I'm going to go inside here. I'm going to install this one right here. And this should actually lead you to the hugging face, which then you can download directly inside here. So the download should be located inside there. Once I finish downloading, what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our Termux inside here. And now we're going to do some setups. So right now, that local language model is in our download folder. But we are not going to be able to access it until we run this command, termox setup storage. And this is going to ask us permission to access files on this phone. You're going to give it permissions. And now we should be able to get some access to it. So right now, if I say ls, which is going to list all the current folders of files in this folder, you're going to say storage. Now, the thing is we can't run Llama file directly inside our downloads folder, so we have to create our own folders to run it. So I'm going to say make dear Llama, and this is what we're going to be using is to store a Llama file to run it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see to my storage and then my downloads. And then I'm going to say ls, and you're going to see that we have that Llama 3.21b that we just downloaded, that Llama file. So what I'm going to do is simply move that to that folder that we just created. So I'm going to say home llama and then I'm going to click enter and in a few seconds it's going to move it over to the other folder. Once it happens I'm going to cd and I'm going to cd to my llama ls to show that it is inside there indeed and then in order to actually give uh, permission to execute it I'm going to say cmod plus x and then I'm just going to run the llama click tab for auto completing that and now that we have permission to execute it, now I could just simply say dot slash llama and run it like so. And you're going to see that what you can do inside here is you can actually chat with it directly inside here. But what I'm more interested to show you is the actual chat interface. So if I just simply go inside here and I paste it like so, you're going to see that it has this nice interface that you can interact with. You can directly talk to it inside here, like write me a poem. Um, it's going to be a little bit slower for me at least because it's uh, I'm recording this on this phone so RAM is being used but you can see that for a quick bit it's able to reply. So it's a very cool technology, very accessible. I definitely encourage you to check it out and try it.